The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Q101, Brian and Kenzie, in case the producer joins us for a Lala preview. It's today. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's go. Now, Lollapalooza, of course, at noon today, everything gets going. Tonight's the big acts. You got, of course, Billie Eilish, who Case, I believe, just put up an old lounge performance when she was, this is five years ago in our Q101 lounge? Yeah, five years ago. You know, we were the first people in the city to play Billie Eilish, one of the first stations in the country to play her. And so even though she's uh, transcended pop culture, really, and has become this mainstream pop superstar, we still we still claim her. She's one of us. She's us. One of us. She's one of us. And the performance is at YouTube and, of course, on our Instagram. But um, Case wants to kind of break down a couple of, well, one act a day that you might not be aware of. Obviously, you know, Chili Peppers and Lana Del Rey in the 1975. It would be funny if you just did the four headliners. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the red hot Chili Peppers. I know you guys probably haven't heard them before. <laughs> but, but because you're going to be wandering around just having a good time, might, and it is overwhelming. Yes. It's overwhelming to say, oh, my God, who should I go see? The thing that I hear most from our listeners when a festival lineup is announced, whether it's Lala or Riot Fest or even one of the smaller festivals in town, is I don't know these bands. Because there comes a point in time in your life where I get it. You stop funneling in new music, but you still might be at one of these festivals, and that's where I'm here to help you out. So uh, I, I consider myself to be an expert at bands on the bottom of the poster. All these recommendations <laughs> are on Q101 social bands media. Bands on the bottom. Should be, you should make a website called that. I, oh, okay, well, that's not a bad idea. I'll get on that. <laughs> but anyways, if you're going down today uh, to Grant Park, I would try to get there by 3 o'clock. There's a band from the U.K. that's coming over to America. They played Bottom Lounge last night for a Lollapalooza after show. This band's called Lovejoy. Yeah. And you guys know, because you guys are logged into q 101 social media, we are overwhelmed with DMs on the daily of Lovejoy fans asking us to play Lovejoy, which, by the way, we are. So please listen to the station because we're doing what you asked us to do. <laughs> but they, they are a- not satisfied with the amount. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, just going to say that. Not. So they have a song called Call Me What You Like. It's really starting to take over the alternative world. It's kind of the next big hit. You're going to hear it more and more on Q101. It's one of their first appearances in America, one of their first appearances in Chicago. They're playing today, 3 o'clock, at the T-Mobile stage, and I will be getting down there for that. I'm really psyched for that performance. We're leaving right for the show today to head down, and 3 o'clock, love joy. Okay, Friday. Friday. I'm going to go to one of the headliners here. But oh, it's, boy. It's not the 1975, and it's not Kendrick Lamar. Okay. There are three bands playing at at 8.30, 9 o'clock on Friday, which is messed up because the 1975 and Kendrick Lamar alone, two great options. You can't go wrong there. Right. But there's a third band. Ooh. Band from Louisville called Knock Loose. Yes. They are the heavy band this year. If you're one of those people that just texted in to win tickets to the Aftershock Festival, you would be into this band. They're playing late. Lollapalooza always, you know, gives us a little nibble, one or two heavy bands on the lineup. Last year it was Metallica and Turnstile. This year it is Knocked Loose, a uh, aggressive metal-adjacent, punk-adjacent sort of band that if you're into the quote-unquote pits, this is the band that you're going to want to see at Lollapalooza. <laughs> Kenzie, are you into the pit? Uh, no. I, well, as a 5'2 human being. But you have the shoes for it today. You got those big kickers on yeah, there. Yeah, she's got big stompers on. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't like to get, I don't like to get messed with, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you don't want to get robbed. I don't I want do to get it. messed with. I don't. Uh, or Knock Loose is 9 o'clock on the Bacardi stage. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be lit. I'm really looking forward to that. That's okay. a good time. What about Saturday? Saturday, I, I have to shout out an artist that has been around. She was at the Aragon this February. I went and saw her. That was a sold-out show. That was fantastic. I know Brian's a big fan of her, too, but if you're not in on Maggie Rogers, oh. one of the most compelling live performers there is, uh, folk roots, but a, a more popular alternative sound, she gets it. Uh, she is absolutely wonderful. Megan loves her, and she introduced her to me as a music artist when she played Lollapalooza in 2019. Yeah, that's right. And it was, an, I, I was just, I thought, okay, I'm going to see this artist and she, I get it, she's popular, whatever. But Megan, when we started, people were piled, we almost got trampled of the people going over to see Maggie Rogers and she does put on a show. Yeah, she got she got discovered by Pharrell of yes. all people. Yes. Uh, Daft Punk, Pharrell, just played a second ago. And she's had a, a wonderful career now for about five years. I saw her live in February and she really, I mean, she really impressed me. And then finally, Sunday, tell us about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, bah, with the bah, with bah, with bah. <laughs> um. I, I, honestly, to be fair, I am dying to see them again. Yeah. Just they never fail 
to deliver live. They I, never I saw fail. them last year at Soldier Field, and I loved it. I yeah. had such a good time. But that's not the band I want to talk about on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, this band is on the T-Mobile stage from 2.30 to 3.30. They're a local band. They're Chicago's very own. A band called Dead, spelled D-E-H-D. These guys are great. They've played every other Chicago music festival. They're finally playing Lala. I really like these guys. They started out as a garage band, uh, almost akin to the Strokes a little bit, and now they're playing one of the big stages at Lala. Uh, that is my Sunday are they, appointment. Like, spooky or with their vibe? A little. Uh, they look very gothic. Uh, they look very guttery, but they have more of a laid back sort of chill vibe. Mm. What do you think of that, Kenzie? I don't know. And everybody spells stuff wrong. And it makes it hard. <laughs> I don't know why. So basically, you won't be able to go deep on these people because he, he'll spell dead wrong. Well, it's like, I. what did the H do for you? Do you know what I mean? I guess. What do you it's like? D-E-H-D. You, know, you know what would make us better? Is, is the H. An H. <laughs> well, yes, an H instead of an A, of course. It just but. made it a, a tough Google. That'll be the T-Mobile stage at 2.30, which later the Chili Peppers will play. Of course, Lana Del Rey also around the same time. The Chili Peppers, so you got to make a choice. The T's upside down for T-Mobile <laughs> stage. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Get right on that. There's a great, great Lollapalooza preview, and it's all at Q101.com of a blog that Case put together. So you're not so overwhelmed. You can target those bands. It's a great job on that, Case. Great job. Way to go, Casey Case. Thanks, guys. He's on the case. It's really nice. That's what you should watch. And, of course, all the Lala resources there at Q101.com and all of our socials. And we'll be down there right after the show today to guide you through what we're seeing early on. It's Brian and Kenzie and Case on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. On our way over to Lollapalooza. But uh, Lauren's here to take you through the rest of the day. Um, and just, we'll, listen, we're on site. You'll see us. Um, we're going to be walking over the whole complex and all day long from now to the last note of the Chili Peppers on Sunday. We are your Lollapalooza station. And uh, just stay on our socials. If you couldn't make it, couldn't get a ticket. On our social media, we'll keep you posted with all the videos and pictures. And Q101.com, we make it so you can stay home and chill on the couch eating chips and still feel like you're at Lollapalooza. Absolutely. Just I like, get updated the whole time. I like doing that. Uh, takeaways from today's show. Uh, Kevin texts in, takeaway, people like Kenzie, but only after they meet her. It's true. <laughs> the, yeah, there's no other way. important part. <laughs> Double features Mike Texan and take away the national keyword little is not how you get into the heavy person festival. <laughs> A lot of ways to get into the Heavy Person Festival. Oh, my God. And then Tony said, take away, Ryan pays one bill, that freeloaded bitch. Listen, it's a big bill, and uh, my wife uh, pays the other seven bills. That's just how it worked out. Hers are also large. Uh, they're, they're not small. Uh, Joe checked in. Uh, Leonard Skinner lived the real-life version of Final Destination. True. It's Very based on true. a true story, Final Destination. <laughs> and uh, Matt also, my takeaway from today is Kate is really cute, and I'm not a creepy guy. There you go. You have to say it, though. Uh, you, you know, as long as you don't have a girlfriend. As long as you have a girlfriend. A lot of good takeaways today. Great time. Uh, thanks for being with us all morning. Tomorrow, like I said, we'll be here on uh, in the studio, but then on site all weekend long for Lollapalooza. If you miss a moment, you miss a lot, go to the podcast. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.